What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we gotta talk about something in NBA 2K23, my team lads. And this is something that, it's, it's just, I'm, I talk about this every week, and the reason why I talk about this every week is this cannot become the norm. I understand, I understand, maybe, does it, does it fit any better if I put face cam on? Is that any better if I put face cam on? I'm recording this video, and thankfully, and I'm then done for today. It's like 9 p.m. I've got some other stuff to do for my other channel. My other channels, and I gotta go eat. I could put in a, probably a six-hour shift, which... More than I should be on a Friday. But also, like, still way less than I would have before. But, anyway. This card sums it all up here. We've had this... This... I'm just ahead of this um, season. We have had Jonathan Bender. We have had Taco Fall. We have had Dino Raja, but now Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton's just God now, but like, look, he was cheap. Dino Raja on that day. Um, and like even TJ Warren. And then Denny Avdia. Do you want to know what all these cards are? For those of you guys who don't know. For those of you guys who don't know what these cards are. They are cards that are basically... They are pink diamonds, but they are being pulled at a rate lower. Like, they are being pulled at a rate that's so low that you can likely pull one of the individual Dark Matters. You can pull either Dark Matters. I think that he has better odds of pulling a specific Dark Matter. So, like, if you want to get... I'm guessing Lonzo's probably the uh, the cheaper of the two. I'm guessing Lonzo's probably the cheaper of the two. So, let's just check the price of these guys. So, Lonzo's about 500. Shaq's probably 700. Yeah, so there's probably Lonzo, more Lonzo's pulled than Shaq's. So, the odds of pulling a specific one of these guys is probably greater than the odds of pulling Jonathan Bender. Who right now is like 200k. Thankfully because he's not Taco. But the odds of pulling. Oh you know what. Or sorry the odds of pulling either of these. Is probably around the same as John Bender. As I will say. Because there are a lot more people probably keeping their Lonzos. And their Shaqs than keeping their Benders. But that is what is now happening. So you're seeing. If you guys know. Like the. The odds basically. Of tiers don't matter. This doesn't matter anymore. And I'm until something changes, I'm going to keep making these videos. But these... No, no, God, no, not that. Whatever you do, don't buy that. But these odds here, it says 40... Or there's a 29% chance that a pink diamond. I know it says 40, but there is also an 11% chance that an opal or higher. So of the 29% chance, there is probably... One in, there's probably a 0.5% chance of pulling the guy you want, Bender. Like, but the crazy thing is people are seeing 29% chance at a pink diamond. So they every time they see the pink diamond shake, they're hoping for Bender. And it's what 2K are basically doing is that, and a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it brings some excitement into packs. Yeah, it gets hooked and getting people hooked on gambling. Like, that's literally what they're doing. And it's per like, it's fully, it's fully, fully, like, from a business perspective, I understand what they're doing. I not only understand what they're doing, I think whoever's idea it was to put a hyped player in every tier, for example, a Mobley, who's pulled way less than the other guys, a Mobley is much rarer than the other guys, a um, Jonathan Bender, who's much rarer, and then even last week, we had our Shangun, who was super rare, and we had the same with uh, the, not the Draymond, the um, Scotty Barnes. And the Taco, who was rare. Bracket Bus is rare, just the inserts. And even in this set right here, there was the Gary Payton versus the scrub Josh Smith and the scrub Dominique Wilkins. So, and then obviously Cam Reddish was that guy for this set, but he wasn't quite as hyped up. So basically, what 2K have now done when it comes to their packs is they have made it so that... Um, Every time you see a shake as a pack opener, 
as a gambler. Because let's just let's just call it like it is. I stand by this. I stand by this. As an adult, I'm not going to pop. There's no need to pocket watch. As an adult, if you want to spend your money on packs in a video game, do it. Do it. There is no if ands or like. There is no. I'm not going to say not to. Just like I'm not going to say that an, uh, that adults can't gamble. I don't think anyone should do that. But basically, what 2K have now done, from their perspective, it's genius from their perspective. But it might it's up there with the most predatory gambling as gambling monetizations in any video games. And whoever on the marketing team, by the way, came up with this because there is no way that this has been done so well this season that it's a happy accident. There is no way this is a happy accident. And if it is a happy accident then someone should try claim they have done this to earn a big, big bonus because it is maybe the smartest thing from a business perspective, but the worst thing they have ever done from an ethical perspective. So now, if you're opening a box and you see a 20-pack box, regardless of the odds, let's just say there is a 40% chance. So if you open a 20-pack box, let's just say if the odds are even, obviously it could, you could get way more, you could get way less. Let's just say on average, in a 20-pack box with a 40%, you get eight shakes. So that means there's eight times you have it in your head if you see a pink diamond shake. It used to be in other years, whatever the lowest tier was, when you saw that shake, you were like, oh, damn, I don't care about this card. But now when you see that shake, the gambler in you is going to get excited, be like, oh, let it be Jonathan Bender. And then even when you don't get Jonathan Bender, you're going to think, maybe I'll get him the next time. And it's the craziest thing ever, like... This, 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 it's just a casino. Like, it is casino tactics in a video game. And it is the war, it is the most blatant case of casino tactics in a video game I've ever seen. And, like, again, if you're an adult and this is what you want to do, cool. But this is a game that is, that is, like, available for 3+. plus. If this game was 18+, plus or M for Mature in America, I would not have any issues complaining. I would have no real complaints about this. And I will stand by this. For anyone who is watching this, I need to remain consistent. My The one thing that I cannot wait, I cannot wait until packs are gone. I cannot wait. Like, I'll talk about a lot of packs when they do something with the odds to make it a little more consumer friendly. I'll still advise normal to open packs, but at the end of the day, if something's consumer friendly and you're an adult, go for it. If it's a little more consumer friendly and you want to gamble, especially if the odds are stacked in your favor and you want to go for it. But this is not only the odds aren't stacked in your favor, because if you pull a pink diamond, there is a high likelihood chance that you get uh, MCW or Austin Rivers. Thankfully, Austin Rivers is God. But, like, there is a good chance to do that. And if you get a Opal, there's like an 8... Uh, I'm not going to say 80%. There's like a 50, 50, there's like a 50 chance you get John Wall if you get an Opal. So, it's like... It's one of those things that where 2K have been really smart about it. But I need to speak up about this because it's incredibly predatory, especially for. Um, and again, like I don't agree. I don't agree with the fact that there's monetization. I think gambling is one of the worst addictions, um, a worst addictions people can have. Because a lot of the time, when people are problem gamblers, it becomes by the time anyone realizes it's a problem, the person has already lost it all. And. Again, this makes perfect sense from a monetary standpoint, especially when you release, you're releasing packs, especially like this one that doesn't have much hype. If they are relying on the whales, if they are relying on the problem gamblers to want to keep going, if that's the way they're relying for their monetization, what they're doing is genius. I just hate it, man. I just absolutely hate it because there are some good things to do with today. There are some good things today. Like, as much as this isn't a hype drop, this man is so fun. But when something like this has been implemented into a video game, I've got to speak out about it, man. And the only, it, it only clicked with me today. Because I was literally said, I was like, oh, can you not make, if you have someone that's just God tier, could you not make him at least an Opal? And Henry was like, oh, it's, that's what it's meant to be. So everyone thinks they have a chance at a pink diamond. And I'm like, Holy crap, you're right. And the more I looked into this, the more I'm like, the more I thought about it, the more I thought about everything individually on this, the more I'm like, this is literally just preying on problem gamblers. And I mean, at the end of the day, if a problem gambler's money is going to go somewhere, from 2K's perspective, they're not going to change anything. And from there, from a lot of people there, they're like, oh, you know what? If they weren't putting money here, they'd be gambling somewhere else. And that probably is true. 
But like, this is wild. I just think this is one of the most wild things in this game. Like, oh man, I'm, I'm really kind of hoping to move away from my team game modes because as much as I love the card collecting aspect, it makes me genuinely feel sick being part of a mode that is, like, that can be such a negative on people's lives. And, again, I get messages every week from people saying, thanking me for these videos, talking about how they've become, they lost, there are people that have lost it all due to packs in these games, and this new concept, the only thing it's going to do is create more problem gamblers. And I need to at least make this ramp video, because... Of all the things in 2K, like, that I can bite my tongue on, anyone who knows Mick Curley as a person, not DBG, knows the only thing that I... Like, as much as I get angry at moments, as much as I get angry about content, as much as I get angry at other things, at the end of the day, a lot of other things is just because of um, me half the time getting angry because I can't redo my job. But at the same time, this is the one thing that Mick Curley will not bite his tongue on anything to do with gambling. It's the one thing I strongly stand against. Um, and I cannot wait for the day, Paxer. Banned.